if this is the beginning of the Moaz, these recent bounces, remember this, someone out there has thrown 10 more or less shares. And they are just as much apes as someone with 2,000 plus shares. This ape is pretty gullible, so anytime I see candlesticks, I start to get excited. We're going to see a lot of hype very soon here. We've seen it over the past week. All the mainstream media and all the apes have, have really been lighting up the internet over the past week or so. And most importantly, a lot of money could be at play here. So everyone take a deep breath, embrace yourselves for 2023 because it's about to get crazy. Everyone I know who owns AMC has bought over the last few weeks. Not one person has sold. Still here, AMC, AMC 500k. So although this ape is exaggerating, saying that not even one person has sold, obviously some people are selling AMC stock. But what this ape means is that the majority, if you look at the top buys, top sells, if you look at the on balance volume, if you look at all the data and all the chat throughout the social media platforms, you know one thing's for certain. A lot more people are buying into AMC shares and a lot more people are holding on to their AMC shares than those who are selling their shares. Now, what does this mean? Does this mean that AMC is going to go to the moon just because more people are buying and holding versus selling? Well, not necessarily, but what it does prove is that the retail base, the strongest, largest base of retail investors on a single stock across the entire stock market is still holding together strong. Even when AMC has been driven down and short laddered attacked over the last few weeks like it has been. So that being said, what does the future hold? If and when there's another bullish catalyst or another reason for AMC to really turn the corner and start rocketing towards all time highs, the retail community of four or five million people are going to still be there holding onto their shares and buying more, which could create a massive, massive FOMO squeeze and of course could turn into a short squeeze. When will people of the world wake up and do something about this? Crime. Steal milk and bread and you go to jail. Steal millions of dollars and you get a warning. Who thinks this type of thing makes sense? This is what's going on right now in the financial markets, guys. If you owe the bank thousands of dollars, it's your problem. If you owe the bank a hundred million dollars, it's their problem. They stole billions and everyone is still getting a cut of the pie through their lobbying or donors. The criminals run the prison. And this ape down below said there is no prison for billionaires. Every politician judge on both sides, guys, are all bought and paid for. This is the world that we live in. I just wish the masses would wake up to it. And what goes on with their savings and retirement funds? If everyone would refuse to play the game, then change would happen. The problem with this, guys, and I don't know if it's going to change because of the fact that a lot of these financial conversations are, are a little bit or a lot of bit over people's heads. I just wish the average person even understood half of what was going on, just like this ape says, of what's going on with their savings accounts, what goes on with their pension funds, retirement funds. If they even understood a little bit of the whole picture, I think the world would look much different. 